around the world are celebrating the fourth annual Fashions Night Out with runway shows, parties, discounts, and appearances from designers and stars. It's really unbelievable how much it's evolved over the last four years. Four years ago, it was non-existent. And even the first year, it was like not a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Now it is a full pledge FNO spot. We have between four and 5,000 people in the store this evening. In the past, the first year, it was probably 500. So it's definitely grown. And I see it growing every single year because, again, every year it's a new season. There's new trends. People want to see them. But we do do a lot of business tonight. A lot of people think now's the time to start their seasons. Lace is a very big trend. Peplum, which is a sort of skirt overlay, is a huge trend for fall. We saw it in spring, but it's back in an even bigger way for fall. The color burgundy or oxblood is kind of the fashion term, is huge right now. You're seeing it in everything from outerwear, clothes, even lipstick. That Bordeaux lip color is very big and leather. With the, the addition of the Magnificent Mile Shopping Festival, we're seeing people coming here specifically to shop from China, from Germany, from London. And so, and, and we know that data because we're, we're tracking that through airline partnerships and such. So we know that that's a really big trend that's happening. So we're, we're definitely proud of the fact that we're on the global map now. The discounts are definitely there, but I think everyone that was here tonight is very fashion conscious and enjoys seeing not only what's on the runway, but what everyone else is wearing, kind of a culture. Retailers here say that the event grows every year and predict that Fashion's Night Out will be in for years to come.